in this business that we're in, where we supply animals for various rodeos across the country, we have to have a large selection of horses. It takes a lot of acres. The part that we have of this ranch is about 32,000 acres. The breed of the horse varies naturally, but there has to be some Bronco or Mustang in them to give them the dis disposition. We've got seven different stallions, and we try to crossbreed and pick the certain mares for the certain horses. I've been raising horses for 50 years, and uh, some of these bloodlines go back to a lot of horses that come out of Canada. You know, the story is told by many that they, we torture these animals to make them buck. Well, that's not true at all because they either want a buck or they don't want a buck. But uh, the disposition, the desire to consistently want a buck is the whole key to, to our business. You've got to have horses that are consistent. There's over 600 when they're all gathered, you know, but say that this particular little bunch of horses that we have in here are as good as we have. Going back 40 or 50 years, I was in a meeting in Ogden, Utah, and, and I never forgot Gene Autry when he put his finger on the map and pointed at Colorado. And he said, this is where you need to be if you're gonna take care of these big shows because this is the hub of the wheel. The rodeo business has changed so much in the last 40 years or 50 years. Uh, these cowboys today have made it a very specialized business. And unless they think they got the right horse to win on, they may not even show up. Where in the early days they come and got on everything and, and anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's changed. It's cost so much money to travel nowadays. And I sympathize with them. You know, it's, it's different than it used to be. Yeah. This is the west boundary of the ranch and uh, we decided to start a cemetery here for these champion animals. And uh, it's been about 20 years ago that we buried the first one here. And we have, I think, 15 here total now. There's uh, world champions and Canadian champion and national finals champions. And they're the best of the best of, what, of the animals that we have had. Smokey was a world champion and a good one. That notation means that he, I, know, I don't think I ever remember that horse having a bad day. He always did his best. And that's the key to this business. 777 was a bucking bull that we won the world with twice. I think they kept a record where he had been bucked 52 times in one year and then hauled to 15 different states and uh, never was ridden. And Donnie Gay was world champion and he had tried him five times that year. So that's <laughs> pretty good, you know. One horse we lost at uh, Farmington, New Mexico. And he died of colic and I hired a truck and hauled him back here and buried him. You know, uh, the people in the humane society are trying to rear up and give us problems all the time. But it's hard for them to realize that before we got so modern and mechanized that this had to be all done with horses and ropes. It's the only way they could control 
the ranches and the animals. And uh, I like to think that I can be part of carrying on that tradition. Thank you.